Here you go. You ask your patient, what are the supply when weighing the patient? Do you need supply? Yes or no? You need to have your pen and then your paper. Of course, you ask the patient, can I come in? The patient say yes after you wash your hand. Hi, my name is Rusty. I'll be your nurse in today. Today, I'll be helping you with your weighing uh, misassignment. I'm going to weigh you to that standing scale. Is that okay? The patient say yes. Check the name as for safety. Post security for privacy and then lock the bed for safety. After that, of course, obviously the patient can walk. You will tell the patient, come on, let's go for a walk. No need the gate belt, okay? You're just gonna walk the patient here, and then you're gonna let the patient step on a scale. So before you let the patient step on a scale, the book says make sure the patient's non-skid socks and non-skid shoes, remember? And then calibrate this to zero. So you put everything to zero. So this, all the way to zero, and then zero as well, okay? Make sure the measuring rod is not touching that metal. So it should be in the, in the middle. So if this one touching this, meaning it's not calibrated, just like this one. So this one's not calibrated, but I'm just gonna pretend that everything on zero. So first step, you let the patient step on the scale and then measure. So you guys are gonna be on the, here on the side while you're looking at your patient. So now go ahead and measure the patient's weight. See this uh, claw right here? Make sure this claw is aligned with 50, for example. Next is 200. Make sure you don't wanna put it like right there. That's not how it works. Because if you move, there's like a little, you know, uh, what do you call it? Deep part here that can stabilize the weighing scale. See that? That's 100. 150 all the way to 300. If I were you on your regional exam, try to estimate your patient's weight or your partner's weight. For example, probably you, uh, Diana, you will be like below 100, then try to estimate. Probably me, I'm more than 150, then put it on 150, okay? So pretend, so this is it right here. So first, I move it to 100, and then use your pointing fingers. Pointing finger right here under, okay? You don't want to do that. So pointing fingers right there, okay? So when the weighing scale is stopped right there, for example, and this one goes to the middle right here. See, that indicates that that's the patient's weight, okay? So if this one touching the rod, that's, the, that's not the patient's weight. It should be in the middle like that. So for example, the weighing scale is stopped there. So how much is gonna be? All you have to do is look at this one first. 100 plus the one on top. 100 plus 28 equals what? 128 pounds. But take note, there's three small lines, as you can see right here. Start from zero. This one first line is one fourth, one half, and then three fourths. So right here, see this? I wrote it on the board. So, so one fourth, the first line, one half, and then three fourths. After that, one. If the weighing scale stop here, that's gonna be one in one fourth, one in one half, and one in three fourth, and then two. Two and one fourth, two and one half, two and three fourth, and three, yes, and then again, so on and so on and so on. So before you go to number four, you have to go to that three small lines. So if the weighing scale stop here, so that, that one is three and one fourth, three and one half, three and three fourth, and then here comes number four, okay? So same thing with this one right here. So the weighing scale is 100, for example, and the patient's weight is stopped right here. So how much gonna be the patient's weight, everyone? Tell me, 100 plus this one right here on top. 105, correct? 105 and one half. One half. Yes. So again, 100 Five and one half. plus four right here. Four, one fourth, one half, three fourth. That's five already. Before you go to six, you have to go to that three small line again. So if the weighing scale stop right there, so that's half. So one fourth is a small line first. Second is one half. The third one is three fourth. So plus 100 right here, 100 plus five and a half equals one of five and a half. You put their LBS, okay? Another scenario, if the patient weight stop there, so here you go, same thing, 100, look at the 100 first and go all the way here. 
So this one right here, patient hasn't reached the 26 yet. So you're still under 25. So 25, next one is one fourth, one half. So this one stop on one half. So 100 plus 25 and one half, LBS. So if this one reached 26, then here you go. Write it down, 126 pounds. So you accepted 100, yes. only 125, no one half? Good question. On your regional exam, there's a hint. So you can round it off because there's two pounds and yeah, minus. It's confusing. Something. Yeah, one so one if one this one right here stop here, for example, and you don't know those one four, one half, three, yeah. three, four, the small one, round it up, either 126 or 127. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Or you can say 120, if the weighing scale stop here, you can say 127 or 128. Mm -hmm. So after you get the reading, go ahead and ask the person to step out of the scale. You assist the patient go to bed. Are you comfortable? Here's your call light. Call me if you need me. Open the curtain. Wash your hands and then you report, report and record. record. Before you do report and record, put this back to zero. Make sure it's calibrated again. Okay? Right. So that's how you weigh the patient correctly.